Now more than ever, it's important to make sure your landscape equipment lasts longer, and Xmark mowers are built with durability to do just that. But just like some other equipment you own, eventually it might need some revitalization. All right, I am here with Mike Mayfield, who's a product manager here at Xmark, and we're talking about revitalizing your mower. Now, you know you've spent a lot of money and you've invested in a product that you love, and there's some things you can do to maintain it with regular maintenance. Mike, tell me about some of the regular maintenance ideas we could be doing. Sure, we've got the obvious ones. You gotta take care of your engine and your hydraulics. With the engine, you've got your air filters, your oil filters, your spark plugs, those types of things in the engine. And then you've got your hydraulics, really important that we keep fresh oil in, in those to help with cooling everything and keeping the parts lubricated well. Okay, so general maintenance, that's the sort of stuff we're keeping, we're doing regularly. You can do it on your own, you can have it done at your dealer, but that's the stuff that keeps it running day to day in good shape. Now let's talk about revitalizing it. So this unit here, it's got about 700 hours, it was in for some service, nothing big, but, um, we can think about larger ideas when it comes to revitalizing. What might those be? Yeah, the first thing I think about, um, you know, this unit is a, a rear discharge, so we've got the uh, bumpers on the sides, okay. so those might wear, they might get some uh, wear on them uh, just by rubbing against concrete, those kind of things. Anti-scalps will tend to do that on a side discharge deck over time. Um, cutter housings, we've got one sitting here. Um, that's another thing that uh, just over time, they wear out. We've got. Uh, industry leading bearings and housings in there, but based on conditions, things wear out. And so as, as an operator or someone who's, you know, responsible for this equipment, how do I know when some of this revitalization might need to be done? Do I pay attention to an hour meter? What else could I be doing? Yeah, an hour meter is a great source. Your uh, operator's manual is gonna guide you through a lot of those critical points. Okay. Um, but the other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna listen to the machine. If things sound different, if you see something performing different, your cut quality is different, or if some if a part's wiggling, I mean, that's a dead giveaway that something's worn out there. Listening is a huge tool to be able to know what's going on and what might need to be done. Uh, now we can take that a step further. I mean, we've talked about some, some technical and some mechanical pieces of that, but it can go as far as cosmetic stuff, right? Yeah, you can replace anything from decals to seats to any of these components you see on this machine. Okay. That's great. I mean, you know, people invest in these units, they love them, and being able to take care of 360 degrees of this unit from the mechanical to the cosmetic is something that makes you take more pride in what you're doing and be proud of the work you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you need to get parts, whether that is a mechanical part, whether that is a cosmetic part, you can talk to your local dealer. They're able to get these parts. You can also shop online at xmark.com through the Shop Local program where you can actually order parts online and have them shipped directly to your door.